take him to the vet. Because he ate a lot of chocolate. I'm a little baby. Hey, y'all. Let's try again with these questions. Let me try to answer them as they come. Where you work, where you, where do you, etc. Um, I work in assistant living. I also do freelance, like, um, child care work. Um, I, I, I babysit for a lot of affluent families, so, um, I can't really give information, but, yeah, that's what I do. Like, that's how I make my extra money. I babysit. I also, like, sometimes if I want just, like, an extra whatever, I'll Uber, but assistant living, you, it pays my bills. Babysitting gives me my extra money to, like, do what I want, and then, like, if I want an Uber, that's just, like, savings. Um, are you with Michael? Me and Michael still talk. I'm just glad you stood your ground tonight and cried when you got home. <laughs> y'all really think, y'all think I'm a bitch? That's what y'all think? I think I'm a fucking bitch. That's why me and Michael get along so fucking well. I'm not a bitch. Like, I ain't no punk. Like, don't, don't try me. Don't fucking play with me. Like, that's my favorite line. Don't fucking play with me. Because I'm nice because I choose to be but like if you give me a reason not to be nice I won't okay just so y'all know no everybody keeps saying that's that Texas no that's that N.O. in me that's that New Orleans in me get it real get it straight we don't play that shit mm. yes like I don't I don't feel the need to always be on 10 because that's just that that exerts too much energy and like my my energy is precious to me so i don't feel the need to be extra for what like that's why i speak when i have something to say like i'm not about to go out there and just act up the only one playing with you is michael since you played your damn self bitch you played yourself you on my motherfucking live i ain't play myself i fell in love with someone who told me what he was telling me and, and i chose to believe the truth so whatever like that's how most relationships work get over your fucking self sarah had all that mouth because she's pregnant and you know you can't slap her right that's like two assault charges no girl you say this fuck to still be talking to michael after girl suck my dick <laughs> Right, like, I was already in love at this point. Like, I don't understand what y'all don't understand. Like, once you put all this, like, effort, emotion, time, love, energy into somebody, you think that should just go away? Like, I know you know that that isn't the facts. So, like, stop trying to, like, play roles on Instagram. So... Right. Fucking Twitter fingers. Keyboard gangsters. But whisked up to me in real life. So I don't even give it mine. Aw, thank y'all. Oh, no, look, look. Let me just clarify. I'm... I am no longer engaged. I'm not get engaged. This ring is a ring that I've had for like, hold on, let me, let me twist it around for y'all. This is just like a cheap ass ring that I've had for like the longest time that it looks good on my fingers. I wear it. I never take it off. That's all it is. I'm a Sagittarius. You know, we, you know how we are. That real shit. If you ain't with the real shit, don't step to us. Yes, I'm from New Orleans. I'm from Kenner, actually. Kenner, Louisiana, slash Metairie, slash Laplace, way at the end. <laughs> Okay, a lot of people are like, why are you wasting? Like, y'all don't understand what he does for me. Like, y'all only see, like, a part of the picture from the show. Like, y'all don't understand what I gained from my interactions with Michael. But y'all will soon. So, like, let me just leave it at that. Do you talk to his mom? Um, I have. I live on the West Bank. Okay. 
West Bank, Best Bank. <laughs> so my question again, is it he is still in contact with both of y'all? What does that mean? I mean, of course he's gonna still be in contact with Sarah. Like that's the mother of his children. That's his wife. Like I'm not I'm not blind to that fact. Yes, he still talks to her. They still communicate with their family. Me and him aren't like we don't have like a title. Like we're just friends. That's just what it is between us. How does my dad feel? My dad does not like that I'm still in contact with Michael. Obviously, y'all saw the episode. He hates it. He hates that shit. So, um, I'm actually thinking about, like, kind of, like, crashing at a, like, family friend's house just to get away. Just because I don't want, like, all the questions. There's a lot of questions. There's a lot of answers that people want. I don't have all the, the answers yet. But when I do, I'll give them to you. I'm just laughing that you don't get it. You mess with a married man. Okay, bitch. It wasn't like I sought him out. He sought me out. So, like, if you don't want somebody to, like, mess with you back, you don't involve their feelings. Like, stop trying to, like, place the blame just on a woman just because you think, oh, that's where it should go. No, like, I didn't look for any of this. Could I have gotten out of it? Probably I could have, but like my feelings were already involved. Like, what do you want me to do? Mm, let me see. This is why bitches get beat up. Okay, beat me up then. Who gonna beat me up? Who gonna beat me up? You gonna beat me up? All right. Which hurt you the most? Finding out he was married and find out she was pregnant. The thing that that hurt me the most, finding out that she was pregnant, because obviously, like I would, like I already knew the situation between him and her. Like I already knew that keeping like his her his kids from him, her kids from him was like a, a big factor. Like me and him have had discussions about that. Like how he was scared about that. He didn't know what he was gonna do and like how he was gonna get back. You know his time with his his daughter so the thing that hurt me the most was knowing that he actually had sex with her like that was that was the worst thing make it say yeah right fight me bitch fight me you want to fight me fight me let me see yeah but you knew and i bet there was times when you could talk to him do you do you do you have an idea? No, I did not have an idea. No, I had no idea. Obviously, look, I don't understand like how y'all could go through life and not understand what is real and fake and like what's real emotions and what's not. Like I'm not that good of an actress to be able to just like fake that type of emotion. Like I'm really not. Like I'm I'm a regular ass person. Y'all never heard from me. Y'all never seen anything about me. I'm not Instagram famous. I'm not Twitter famous, YouTube famous, none of that. So, like, all this shit is real to me. When I found out that he was married, that broke my fucking heart. Like, it did. Like, it shattered my soul because I really felt that he was my soulmate. And somebody who said that they said and claimed that they loved me the way that they did wouldn't be able to hurt me that way. But... Let me say this, though. Once you realize what the fuck it is, you got to pull yourself together and just move on. You got to keep moving forward. You can't let that just hinder you. Like, I know it hurts. I know, like, you don't want to move on. I know you don't want to, like, but you got to you, you gotta find something that makes you happy, basically, to, like, keep moving forward and hold on to that. Because people will let you down every time. And that's all I got to say about that. Um, no, again, 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 again. I did not know he was married. Did y'all not watch the episode? What happened to the sweet Megan we all watched? You seem very hostile now. Well, um, CNAE9501, um, when people constantly bombard you with negative and evil messages, um, it kind of forces you to grow a tough skin. So, 
I'm still the sweet Megan that you know and love. I'm just, I'm not going to take bullshit. So if you have something to say, you better believe I have something to say right back. <clears throat> Are your parents, yes, my parents have been married for 30 years. So like, look at the irony in that. Like, I'm not a fucking homewrecker. Like, I understand the constitution of marriage. I understand the, the responsibility and, and the things that you should, you know, adhere to when you're married but I also know that it has to be a two way street one person can't be like giving all like you know the, the trust and the loyalty and everything and then the other person doesn't give a fuck it has to be a mutual thing he tried to get her pregnant he was happy when he told her when she told her yeah I know me and Michael, like, we, we're still, we're friends. Like, I didn't say me and him were together. Did I say we were together? I don't have any ill will to, towards him because I understand why he did what he did. And in the upcoming seasons, you guys will too. Let me see. I'm going to scroll, 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 scroll. So, to me, the show is fake. I know you're reading this. Okay, that's your opinion. He has Instagram, but I can't find it. He might have blocked you. Um, a lot of men marry their kid's mom for that purpose alone, so she can't take the kids from him. I mean, it's not unheard of. But that doesn't that doesn't excuse what he did. Like, I'm not trying to give him an excuse. I'm not trying to, like, you know, make it easier on him. I'm just giving it... I'm giving you my perspective. That's what y'all asked for. Y'all wanted my perspective? I'm giving it to you. What part of Kenner you from? Bitch, old Kenner. Hello. Old Kenner. Plantation Drive. Almost to, uh, so, uh, not Lincoln Manor. Um, so, no, what's the other one? I can't think. My dad's from there. <laughs> yes, my dad, my dad is amazing. I love my dad. He's the best dad. Yeah, that's cool. He could post his baby. You understand why he did wash what at he did? What what are you trying to say, Florida baby? I know you're from Florida, so please just enlighten me. Um, so y'all on the next season, y'all gotta watch. Stop addressing the haters and talk about something else. I'm trying to, but like that's all I'm getting. <laughs> I'm sorry, Misty Stone. Do dudes hit you up on social media? Yeah, I do. I get a lot of, of guys that, that are interested in me. Um, it is what it is. That's not new to me. That's, a lot of people think I'm, like, desperate and I just want him. No, like, I could have anybody that I want. Let's just throw late at that. Like, <laughs> I used to get that good dick from Kenner. Okay, Delia. Girl, you nasty. <laughs> be honest he seems like he only with her because he wants to be able to see his kids if not she won't allow him I mean if that's what it seems like let me scroll up 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 okay let's see Sarah's gonna have a lifetime of him cheating I don't know I love the confidence period right like I'm let's just like can we just address the fact that like I'm okay like after y'all saw me like a complete mess that last finale like I'm good I'm still standing let that be a lesson to know like even though you feel devastated even though you feel like you can't wake up in the morning even though you feel like you don't want to be here like keep going because it does get better regardless like period like just keep going like don't let anybody I won't say don't let anybody bring you to that point because it happens but don't let anybody keep you at that point no okay like this is what they did to me all right who am I and then you move on like show prove your prove your strength to yourself that's how I feel Let me see. Hold on. 
on. Shonee said, I think I asked the same question at least, at least 50 times. What's the question, Shanice? I can't see it. Ask it one more time. 51 times. You gonna ask it? Are you gonna ask it, Shanice? I'm waiting since you asked the question 50 times. <laughs> What diet are you on, baby? I am on keto, okay? What is everybody else on? <laughs> I'm 29. You 28 fucking up kids' families. Bitch, I ain't fuck up nobody's family. Okay? I didn't fuck up nobody's family. Keep that in mind. And maybe you should, like, rethink, like, what you just fucking said. Like, I didn't, like I said, I didn't seek anybody else. I didn't seek anybody out. I didn't seek, like, attention from a married man. I had no idea. So, like, if that's how you feel, bitch, fuck you. Suck a dick. Uh, let me see. What's the question, Shanice? I need the question. Cause like I feel some type of way now So you talk about you asked a question 50 times I'm trying to see what the damn question is Have you seen Mike in person Since the day he Got locked up Yes Let me see Let me see, let me see, let me see. You are kind of excusing his behavior. No, I'm not excusing his behavior. I literally, like, told y'all more than once that I'm not excusing his behavior. But what I'm not going to do is get on social media and, like, whine and cry if I decide that I still deal with this person. Like, what purpose does that serve? Like, if I deal with him, I deal with him, and I accept what it is. Like, I'm not going to stay up here and be like, oh, he did this, this, and this, and this, and this. No, like, I already knew who the fuck you were when I was fucking with you. So, take that as you want. Explain that it's fake as fuck because you and Sarah couldn't have both signed up. Listen, when you get on a reality show, you get background checked. I wrote into the show. I wrote about my story, how I met Mike, our love, all that. They did a background check, and they found out he was married. So, like, that was juicy to them, obviously. I didn't know. If I would have known, like, I, I, I wouldn't have, like, opened myself up to him. I wouldn't have, like, been so vulnerable or, like, just so gullible. Like, when you're in love, it's, it's a whole different story. Like, I feel like a lot of y'all haven't been. Let me see. Uh... Are you afraid that she has the videos you sent him? No, because you know that, like, revenge porn is a crime in New York. So. <laughs> revenge porn. Let me say that again. Revenge porn is a crime in New York. So, like, if anything were to leak to the Internet, like, I already know who did it. Girl, I have a crowd for you. The episode, keep your head up. That episode was tough. It was. Like, it, like the fact that I even had to go back home and tell my dad everything that happened, like, that was hard for me because I didn't want him to be right. I didn't want my dad to be right. But in the fact that he still, like, covered me and, like, comforted me and made sure, like, he knew that, like, get, like, told me my worth over again like that just made it even harder because it's like damn like my dad loved me and like I still like disregarded his advice let me see you should sell your wig on eBay <laughs> let me tell you Bitch. It wasn't 
wasn't a wig. It was a sewing. A bad sewing. Okay, so let me tell y'all this. Okay, so... When you're about to start filming, they don't give you notice. Like, they don't give you a week or two weeks. They tell you, like, the day before you're supposed to start filming. If you're black and you know, and you have, like, a regular hairstylist, you have to have at least 24 to 48 hour notice. Like, you about to come get your hair did. So, every time they would call me, like, they wouldn't give me enough time to be able to get my hair done. So, yes, my hair looked fucked up. That's not how I keep my hair, but that's that's how y'all see me now. So, okay, let's just say I was doing the Ray J challenge with my fucking sewing and keep it at that. How about that? <laughs> yes, yeah, this is my first time being on TV or any show, but let me I am I'm a classically trained singer. I sing opera. Um, I sing in all different types of languages. I sing all different types of music. I do jingles. I do all of that. I'm a singer. But, and musical theater as well. That's probably why, like, people are like, oh, you're so good on camera. Because I've done musical theater, like, as a child. Like, from, like, 5th to 12th grade. Let me see. Sing some more. <laughs> what y'all want me to sing? I'll sing something. Do you feel embarrassed about showing private information? I mean, yes, I did at first, but like at a certain point, you gotta get over that shit. I'm gonna sing I Will Cross the Ocean for you because that's my shit. Alright, hold up. <clears throat> <clears throat> Don't judge me too hard, y'all, because I'm, I'm really sensitive about this. All right, here we go. When you're feeling lost in the night, when you feel your world just ain't right, call on me, I will be waiting. Call on me, I will be there. If there's anything that's too tough, anytime your best ain't enough, Be the one to make it better. I'll be there to protect you. See you through. I'll be there when there is nothing I won't do. I will cross the ocean for you. I will go and bring you the moon. I will be your hero, your strength. Anything you need, I will be the sun in your sky. I will light your way for all time. Promise you, but you I will. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Anyway, that's a little sample. I am drunk, so I don't want to do too much. So whatever. Anyway. <laughs> Did you sing to Mike? Yes. <laughs> we, I did sing to him. Thank y'all. I really do appreciate it. Like I, I want to. I really want to get back into my music. Like I've been in music since I've been in school. Like I've been in the gifted, intelligent program, and then from there, like I. When I went to college, I did um, a vocal performance and then opera, musical theater. So, like, this really, I, I love to sing and I love music. And, yes, Mike raps. So, like, we do collab on a few things. I might have to post a little video that we did. <laughs> Thank y'all. And please don't, like... This is really not how I sound. Like, I, I really do sound better than this, so. <laughs> Where do you get your nails done and by who? Girl, okay, so I go to this place called InStyle Nails. It's off of 377 on, uh, in North Tarrant. Um, it's by this girl named Bella, and she, she freaks my nails, like, all the time. 
She always does. I'm about to start getting dipped because she missed shading me. She was like, oh, you get gel? You get gel now? Everybody get dipped. I was like, oh, everybody get dipped? Okay, I'm going to get dipped. <laughs> who in person Sarah no I haven't seen her no I haven't what's your uh Imogen Imogen 79 what's your question can you please write it again Imogen 79 write your question again please Imogen 79 <laughs> I'm really a goofball Okay, let me see. Uh, yeah, like, I try to keep it classy. That's really me. Like, I just, anybody that tries to, like, zap my energy, I'm not going to give you the, the, the pleasure. I really won't because I already know what you're trying to do. Was you singing on Mike's nuts? No, I was gagging on him. Um... <clears throat> Yes, my dog's okay. I'm about to take him out right now because I feel like he's going to have to, like, the shits in, like, 20 minutes. <laughs> so I'm going to go take him out, make sure he doesn't, he feels okay. And he's not, like, trying to his bowels and all that. Thank you, guys. What's your question? What's y'all's questions? I don't see them. Like, I'm not trying to ignore your questions, I promise. The gag is, yeah. Uh. website i met him through someone i'm in texas i live in fort worth <laughs> i'm a different type of energy i appreciate that let's see who does your i do my own makeup <laughs> like I know on the show, I really, I know, like, okay, let me just, let me just, disclaimer, I know I look a mess, but like I said, I didn't have time to get myself together, like, anytime they would call me, it was like, oh, I need to get another show in, like, I will be ready to, like, go and get my hair fixed again, and it was like, oh, no, you can't, we need you literally right now, so that's why I look a little, I look a little busted, but, like, if you go back and look at my pictures, like, you don't know, like, whatever, if that's what y'all think, that's fine. Does he still kind of con does he does Mike still trying to contract tag to you? Me and Mike still talk. Like we are in communication. Was Mike worth the wait? Yes. <laughs> Green looks good on you. Oh, thank y'all. Mm -hmm. Green for money. <laughs> Megan, you need to try. Wait, you need to let them try you for it, for your appearance. They needed you. I would have been like, no. <laughs> I guess. Um. Do you do you want to have mailed baby? Do I want like a store? Like, do you want? Are you asking me if I want the stork to drop off babies? Possibly. I love children. I, I, like, I babysit on the side. So, I love kids. Let's see. Is that a... Uh, I already read that. Was your first time with Michael? Yes. Okay, let me just... Okay. Let me just clear the motherfucking air. Because I'm tired of having to, like, explain myself with this. Hold on. Yes, bitch. I was a virgin. I never had sex. I never had a penis penetrate my vagina. I never, like, had, like, intimate contact with somebody like that. None of that. So, the fact that you, like, people ask, oh, were you really a virgin? Yes, I was. It's not that far-fetched that a 28-year-old could be a, could be a virgin. Not everybody wants to have sex when they're 13 years old. Like, get over yourself. 
that's just annoying. It really is. Like people, she wasn't a virgin. She wasn't. No, nah, bitch, I was. Get o- you're mad because you weren't. Get over yourself. Like, if you have sex, fine, have sex, but don't try to like tell me like don't try to like dictate my experiences. That's annoying. Is Mike a Libra? No, Mike is a Sagittarius too. It's two Sagittarius, me and him. Sagittarius. That's why we so crazy. Thank you, city kid. How did it make you how did it make me feel to hear him say he still loves both of you? It made me be like, I like it. It made me like give a side eye, like really. But me and him have had conversations where, like, I have asked him, like, do you still love her? And he always tell me, it's like, as the mother of his children, yes, I will always love her. I will always have like a certain respect for her, no matter what. So like, I get it. But at the same time, like, as like the uh, like someone else, the other person who's like who he supposedly loves it felt like what the fuck like I don't want to hear that like that's not something you want to hear let's see girl I got a Sagittarius man also they are romantic as hell love him to pieces I mean girl if you got one I don't even have to say nothing (laughs) see so you never saw any red flags with michael because girl i if he was playing both he was playing let me tell y'all something it's easier to lie when you're filming a tv show because you have that excuse oh i was filming i was doing this or i was doing that like obviously if we weren't on the show i would have still got my ass on the motherfucking plane to flint like and then it would have been a showdown with me and sarah then but the way it was worded to me like oh you know we're filming this and we want you to come here then and now and it's just a lot a lot of confusion so when people ask me were there red flags yes and no because there were red flags because of the 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 way it was worded to me like from production and him it was because of the show but now I know, like, it wasn't. So it was just, like I said, just just stay tuned, y'all. Just just stay tuned. Are you and Michael together? We need to know, girl. I mean, like I said, we st- we're still communication. Like, there's no titles. How could there be a title if someone is married? There's no title. Like, I still talk to him. Like, we're friends. I still care about him, but, like, I'm not moving forward with anything until like I know like I'm who you exactly want to be with like regardless like I'm not playing games like I don't want to be I'm not going to be with somebody who's going to constantly cheat on me and I know about it hmm how do you feel about his mom feeling like he needs to leave you alone and him working on his marriage um that will be discussed later on y'all will see how exactly how i feel about that who did you think he was living with he told me that he was living with her her grandparents and that aviana was like in the ward of her grandparents because sarah wasn't like like she would like give him like partial custody that's what he told me so that's what that's what I thought. I was under the impression like he like anytime I ever FaceTime him, he was in a room with like a mattress with no fucking you know what is it box spring or anything like that on there. Like so I immediately okay that's where he's staying. Like he's crashing there until he can get his own place. Let's see. Is there going to be a reunion? I don't know. I feel like y'all should write We TV and let them know that y'all want a reunion so we can all air all this shit out. Well, everybody, 
in the hot seat and see what the real truth is. So y'all need to like keep watching the show, write to them, let them know, comment like on the videos that y'all want this because like we've been saying this for, for, for forever, but like if the fans aren't like di like demanding it, like it's not gonna happen. Let's see. We need all the motherfucking tea spill. I know. Like, I wish all y'all were my besties like B. And I could spill all the tea to y'all, but I can't. Because I can't trust all y'all. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Let's see. It's not right, though. You need to leave him alone. Da -da -da -da. He's the last day room, girl. Why would you think he's living in a room with a mattress and he... go because like my life's about to end and um, I'm about to talk to y'all later let's see <laughs> are your parents disappointed in you mm, probably but not from this <laughs> I do a lot of shit they should be disappointed in you know what I'm talking about So what do you think about like if I did like a meetup in like Fort Worth with everybody like if all if any of my followers are from Fort Worth or Dallas or like